these things are absolutely gorgeous. This is the Yukon model, 2021. And you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Has slide out toppers from day one. This one has outdoor speakers. Does have uh, the patio awning that comes on the campsite, not off of the back. So that is actually very, very nice, especially in a truck camper. A lot of times they come out the back. This is a motorhome style pullout drawer. So that's absolutely huge. I mean, you can kind of see just how big that is. The slide out wasn't out the back. You'd be able to access it a little bit better. You do have all your mechanicals down here. If you guys uh, run into issues, you got access to everything you need. Batteries would live there. I'm running off of a jump pack right now, so. This one does have the, hopefully you can see it, the Onan 2500 uh, generator in it. Let's uh, bring you around and get you inside. Uh, weight wise, everyone always has that question. Um, you can kind of hopefully make it out on here. It's 4528 as it is equipped. Of course, the more options you add, the, the heavier it gets. I suppose I, I miss this. Battery disconnects, slide outs, all that stuff ready to rock and roll right as you enter. So this one here is pointed with the reclining seats in the rear. Really kind of nice. Does have a nice fan up top here to suck everything out. I don't know if you noticed, but new for this year is you've got these nice LED light strip lights. I am personally a fan. You can block out, you know, light from your main door too, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully I can get that to go. Slow rises. Kind of moving over here, you got some hanging storage for coats and whatnot. More storage over there. I suppose I'll just kind of get right into this. Flip up countertop. Got some mechanicals here, of course. The remainder, water heater. These are absolutely huge. This one does have the backup camera on it, so that's nice. And when you put these things in, you can pop those uh, those handles in so that way they don't hit you. And when you want to use them, you just pull them out. This one has the three burner stove, glass top, of course. We also have the convection microwave. Nice and big sink area, dual sink. Personally a fan of that. And I'm gonna try to go through a lot of the storage here for you just because it's a lot easier to, uh, to maybe show in video form than it is photo form. Um, there was of course your recliners, huge windows. You guys can actually sit in this thing and you know, see out. This one does have the option for uh, the second uh, seating over here. This table can mount to here. Obviously you can eat there, or there is a mount over here. Kind of make the best of both worlds. And I suppose I'm gonna sit down in this chair. And just kind of show you what I'm seeing. You've got your entertainment setting right there in front of you. Fireplace, of course your stereo, whatnot. And then well, that's kind of what the ceiling and roof features look like. These are huge for truck campers. If you look just at the floor plan here, you're up over your rails, so the slide outs can get way out there. I guess I'll uh, sneak you over this way quick to show you the fridge. Pretty standard fare there, gas and electric. We do have four cabinets for storage. Whoops, these are closing on me here. Hopefully you can kind of make this out. It's hard to do the video as I'm doing it with uh, things moving on me. Moving on into the bedroom, side storage. Of course, you got your headboard there, power on either side. I don't know if you can make it out or not, but there's outlets, reading lights. This is an escape hatch. Of course, you'll have one side that's a screen that'll pull around and one side that is a, a shade. Does have an LED light strip on the top and you are pre-wired for a television in the master uh, moving out here 
We do have a solar charger on the roof. My little jump pack there is uh, taking a charge currently, so. Oh heck, it even knew that I have an AGM battery on there. Would you look at that? That's kind of nifty. All right, sneaking around here. We've got the John. We've got your sink. Huge medicine cabinet. Open this up, kind of show you what it looks like. Nice light up top so you can see everything. And I, uh, I don't know if this is a good way of demonstrating this, but I'm sitting here and I'm actually fitting on it. If the toilet seat was uh, not down, I'd probably actually have uh, my feet on the floor flat. So of course there's a vent fan in here as well. They've got this little door that will close off your bathroom. It's got a magnet there, you can kind of hear it click. Towel rack. And then your actual shower, which is huge in a truck camper. This is what you're going to find in most of the camper trailers. I really like that for a shower curtain. Makes my life easy, I don't have to deal with those little flimsy ones. And just another quick look at the bedroom. Does have the dome, of course, over your head in the shower as well. I suppose I forgot to mention. Clip that into place. Come on back out. So that is kind of what this unit looks like for a truck camper. This is absolutely huge. There is, uh... God, I don't know if there's any wasted space in here whatsoever. Um, we've had very, very good luck with these. They go very fast, so if you guys are interested, just let us know.